Welcome back. Iowa State under new offensive coordinator Taylor Mauser wasted no time jumping on North Dakota and the Cyclone defense despite some injuries was stellar. Jack Tri Stadium turns 50 this year. It's been a half century of Cyclone crazies. They loved this play first of the season. Rocco Becht goes deep. How about 54 yards to Jalen Knoll to get ISU in plus territory. Somehow he squeezes the pigskin in between two defenders. Very next play Rocco to Jaden Higgins. If you're looking for big number nine, just check behind the defense. He may be there. Higgins with 75 yards, five receptions. Cyclone defense did give up nearly 300 yards. They bent but did not break, giving up three points on two North Dakota red zone trips. J.R. Singleton puts the QB in a blender for one of two sacks for ISU. Later, Jalen Knoll writes his name in the ledger. Becked to Knoll, 14 yards for the score. Becked was 13 out of 30. 13 when targeting his top two guys, Nolan Higgins. Iowa State wins it 21 to 3. Here's state head coach Matt Campbell. You look at the stat sheet and you're like, man, you're pretty, pretty solid of what, what just occurred. You know, I thought we played really good football. Um, there's some things in the first game you want to clean up. You know, we want to be a little bit better on third down on the defensive side of the football. We had a couple penalties in the red zone um, that maybe prohibited a chance to score. But, man, I thought all in all, you know, with the amount of things that kind of were against us a little bit today with some of the injuries, I thought some kids stepped up and played really good football. On the injury front, linebacker Caleb Bacon had to be carted off the field with an apparent left knee injury. That's all we know about his status. ISU heads to Iowa City for the Seahawks game next week.